Hi Mark lad. Here we are at Prophet Elias, Eliza's monastery from the 12th century. Um, just give you a little sh give you a little over, give you a little view of this nice sea view there. And we're gonna walk up to I'm gonna walk up the steps now to the big cross so you can see that Mark lad. And here we are, just on this journey. I did this a few years ago, and boy, it's a killer. It is a killer. But, you know, it's good. There's the crosses. You know, it's, um, it's a nice, it's a nice place. It'd be, be good if you could come one day and, and see it. It's lovely. I don't know who that is, but it's a picture of somebody. Looks like maybe Paul or Moses, possibly, I don't know. These are the steps going up, Mark, lad. And boy, I've been preparing for about 20 minutes to walk up these steps. I've been drinking loads of water because the temperature is in the 90s today. And it is a long way up. But I just wanted to do a video. So that when I get back to Ashton, come round your house, we can watch it on the telly. And it's edifying, I suppose. It just reminds me of um, like Jerusalem or something. As you can see, that's where I've walked from so far. Just reminds me of somewhere in in Jerusalem or in the Holy Land, you know. So yeah, it's a trek, but just wanted you and Andrew to look at it and uh, see where I've been. And this is the one I was saving the time on the video for was this one, because this is the most important one, I'd say. Boy. That is hard work. Oh dear. Tell I'm out of shape. But yeah, it's been good so far, Mark. We went to the Beatles night last night, which was really good. They really captured the 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 spirit and the soul of that era. And it was really nice. <laughs> oh wow, look at that little place you can sit down if you get knackered. Oh. I'll just sit for a second because it's under the shade of the tree. As you can see, it's uh, we're quite high at the moment, but we're going to get higher. Well, I'm going to get higher, should I say, I'm on my own. Wow. I don't think Andrew would like it here, Mark, because there's not a cloud in the sky and it's constantly hot and, you know, I'm forever putting sun cream on, so... It's not really for Andrew this weather, because I know he's not keen on hot weather, but I'm sure you could handle it, Mark, lad. Right, on we, onward we go. I'll take the phone that way a little bit, and we get a different angle of it. But as you can see, we're going higher and higher. And I've got no protection from the sun here. The only thing I've got in my bag is some sun protection, high factor. But there's no shade unless I get to that tree. But yeah, it's uh, it's hard work coming up here. But I wanted to do it. That's an unusual uh, plant. It looks very dry. How does it survive in such arid conditions? I'll never know. Wow. I wonder what the walk was like for Jesus when he walked up those, you know, around Jerusalem. He carried his cross to Golgotha. I'm presuming it was something similar to this in uh, similarly hot weather. I'll just give you another view there, lad. I'll zoom in a bit there, you can see the coastline. It's glorious. God made all this and he's done a good job, I tell you. Wow. Don't get much rain here, man, I tell you, lad. Anyway, moving on, we've got two other people up there. They've come to do this uh, walk as well. Americans, I believe. I spoke to them before I started filming, so... Yeah, the Americans like the touristy stuff, don't they? And it's good. It's really good. It's a good place to come and contemplate. We can actually go in the church as well. Now, the best bit's not here yet, but the hard work is good to do. Then you can see the best bit. But boy, these steps are steep, lads, I tell you. I wouldn't want to come up here every day. If this was a local church, I'd seriously consider swapping my church so that I don't have to come up this hill every day. Because I'd be dead by the time, I, if I did this every day, I'd be dead. <sighs> wow, look at that. Look how steep that is, Mark, lad. That is a killer. Wow. But, you know, it's good. Just wanted to send you the video. 
so you can see and uh, you know it might be a place that you'd like to visit one day I don't know I hope so I look at that now as you can see we're getting higher up lad a lot of rocks there there's where we've walked from from behind uh, Jay's asked me to do a video for his wedding you know because he can't I can't physically be in Ghana but he's wondering if I could send him a video wishing him well and they'll play it on a big screen in Ghana and then it shows to the family that he has got friends because in their custom their culture way of life it's customary that friends and family attend a wedding but if that's not possible they will accept a video because the video is not the same as us being there but it's it's as good as and it kind of satisfies them in a way wow look at that road now mark lad wow and that swimming pool wow nice little swimming pool there in the garden eh? don't get that in england light like, but oh i do apologize for my moaning but it is it is difficult come up, coming up here i wouldn't expect my mum and my sister and the kids to come up here because they'd give up halfway but i don't want to give up i just want to keep going and get to the uh, church and the cross oh because jesus never gave up when he carried his cross oh wow as the church bells are ringing i'm gonna do a ring of the church bells as well myself wow it's so it just reminds me of like somewhere in in the bible lands lad look at that height of that mountain wow so we can watch this on the telly it'll be worth it just sitting there oh wow and there's another shaded area which is good they're thinking of us <laughs> oh so i hope you're okay in ashton i know the weather's not so great in england but it never is, I suppose. Wow. Oh. They're all having a relaxing day by the pool today. And I said, I'll come and join you later, but I need to do this walk because I wanted to do it. I wanted to show you, show you what it's like. Oh, someone's ringing the church bells. Brilliant. Must be time to pray. Oh. I am sweating. I am sweating. Oh, feels like I'm in a sauna outside with this heat. Even at night time, it never dies off. It just stays like this. Wow. Here's even more of an elevated view here, lad. Got some great photos up here, man, I tell you. Brilliant photos. Hello, again. <laughs> Ring the bell. So this is the church, Mark. Uh, as you can see the cross on it there. That's great, that. <coughs> ah, so water tap here to fill your bottles up. Good thinking, Batman. There's the cross, my friend the cross that overlooks this little town that's just what I wanted to come and show you lad because this is just wow look at that wow we look at this drop here Mark lad wow look, at, look how steep that is lad the last time I came I actually went down there but today I'm not going there because it's too hot and I haven't got the energy but I'll show you the picture of it anyway lad now over here, stand on this rock here, I get us the highest point that I can physically get to. And you can see the other side. And it's just amazing. Absolutely amazing. I really love this place. I mean, I could live here, I suppose. I could give it a month for you if I had the money, you know, and come home. But they say, don't they, that there's no place like home. And wow. It's such a cool little place, you know, the, at night time, there's no police or nothing, it's so relaxed, everyone's just, you know, so hospitable, so friendly, and, and that's how it should be, it should be like that, you know, wow, I'll tell you what, 
this is a great place lad um i'm sorry for waffling on a bit but i just i'm just blown away by it you know wow this is the lord the god made all this there's the cross again praise his name hallelujah thank you jesus for the cross thank you for the cross lord without the cross lord there's no salvation but there is salvation and you made it for us lord thank you lord for carrying your cross and helping it, us to carry ours amen stood it right at the foot of the cross now there's a song about that i think standing at the foot of the cross in the shade of the cross and redeemed wow this is amazing there's a shadow of the cross of it wow right at it drop me sunglasses anyhow just give you a little uh give you give you a little a pan of what i can see from up here wow it's amazing wow and it's all free as well all this footage is free it's amazing you know right and have a little walk into the church as well uh, and that should conclude the video I'll show you the church and then uh, there's the Greek flag zoom in on that Greek flag it's not blowing much here because of the heat but that's a Greek flag I can't believe I'm only like two miles away from where Paul the Apostle came to do he's one of his on his third missionary journey and I've been there it's just amazing just amazing nice little swimming pool down there so maybe that's what I should be doing soon eh? getting that sea or the swimming pool cool down a bit and refreshing myself look at that house Mark I'm just panning on this house it's like a mansion or something I'm just zoom in on that house lad see it look at that that is spectacular you know lovely what is So yeah, wow. What is it? I, I know that I can icon. <laughs> My friend, oh wow, yeah, the cross in it, yeah. Yeah. It look, I can see it clearer more on here, can I, with my own yeah, eyes? Yeah. <laughs> wow. There's Jesus. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah. It's from my friend in England. Mm -hmm. He's a, he's a very devout Christian, my friend, and <laughs> like myself, and a, so just kind of filming the everything here for him yeah. and sending it to him so he can. See it in it's a spiritual place, you know. It's, it's, I think it's special. We always look for a place like this, whilst not having the highest religious interest. But generally, yeah. it is just inspiring and it is, isn't it? Yeah, inspiring. and it's good. And no tourists. That's it. Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from Stockport. Stockport. Manchester. All right. Are you guys? Yeah, but, only in Newcastle. Yeah. Oh, in the northeast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Northeast. Ah, right. Where are you from originally? Uh, German. South Germany. Oh, Germany, lovely. My friend's married to a German lady. Oh. He was married to her, sorry, <laughs> but she's. Uh, it's just differences, but uh -huh. yeah, she's a nice lady. It can happen. It can, yeah. <laughs> wow.